Hello good people, I'm Dmitry and today has been a pretty standard day, I'm working on the case review and something really interesting from Ducky arrives. This is the Ducky Feather. Yep, Ducky made a lightweight mouse. What's really interesting about the Feather is that this feels like a Ducky product. You know, it's not a copycat um, and it actually brings some innovative and unique features to a lightweight space that we haven't seen on any other mouse yet. Honestly though, I feel like we're getting a bit overwhelmed with all the new mice releases, but this is Ducky we're talking about and this is going to be a good one. What I have here is a testing sample, which means it's not a mass produced retail item, which means we can analyze this from a feature standpoint, from a, a shape perspective, but you know, certain elements and the build quality are not completely finalized yet. But my initial impressions on this thing are completely positive. I really am excited to see the final production of the Ducky Feather. This is going to be a really popular mouse as long as the price point is competitive. The price point has to be right for it to stand out because the market is so saturated right now that around the $59, $69 price point, especially for something that is driverless, this should satisfy. First, I wanna do a general overview and then highlight the unique features about the cable angle and also the switches. So first, let's start with the weight because this is a 65 gram body and that is incredible because only a portion of the size is perforated. The top surface and the triggers are completely solid and it follows in the footsteps of Razer and giving us that slightly transparent top body so the Illuminate logo is underneath it, which by the way is illuminated in multiple sections. So for the peak, for the hair and the actual body of the Ducky logo. The sides are textured with a slight rubberized coating, which helps with the grip. And if your fingers are slightly moist, uh, they don't slide around, which is nice. This is a truly ambidextrous design, which means it's good for both right and left hand operation because we have browser buttons on each side. Left hand users will surely appreciate this because the other alternative would be the Razer Viper and the Viper Ultimates, which actually this mouse reminds me a lot of. When you put them side by side, the Ducky Feather looks very similar to the Razer Viper, but fortunately they feel quite different. To me, the Razer Viper feels slightly chunkier, especially with a hump the top. While the feather feels slightly smaller in my hand because of the curvature at the top is not uh, as aggressive and the front triggers, they don't have such deep grooves uh, for your fingers. So the front triggers feel slightly higher. Overall, I would say Ducky has a really good shape on their hands that would satisfy hybrid and claw grip perfectly and for smaller hands, uh, palm grip too. In the package, we get a user manual and additional Teflon PTFE feet. So large ones and small ones, depending on how much glide you want at the bottom. And speaking of the bottom, this is really interesting to see because we have controls not only for your pulling rate from 125 to 500 to 1000, but we also have a lift off distance adjustment from low, the default and high and we have the DPI switch too, which is color coded. Now, unfortunately, the seven program DPI steps are in 2X, so 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400, 12,000, and 16,000, which means if I'm used to playing at 1,000 DPI, I have to choose between 800 and maybe 1600, so you don't have that precise adjustment because there's no software. Now, the sensor here is the trusted 3389, so fantastic uh, performer all around, no skipping, great lift off distance, especially because we have the lift off distance adjustment. I put that to low and absolutely have no complaints. For me, the lack of precise DPI adjustment is not a deal breaker. Even though I'm used to playing at a thousand DPI, I put this thing to 800 and it feels great. But I could see why people might choose a different mouse with driver software so you can play around with things. But here it remembers your RGB settings. It remembers your DPI settings. Uh, it's a plug and play device that you can move from one PC to another. Because there's no driver software, you change the lighting with a button combination and you do the same thing if you want to change it from a right hand operation to left hand. And now onto the two unique features about the Feather are the switches, the Huano 50 million clicky micro switches and the uh, angle of the cable exit. 
First, the switches feel incredible, super tactile, nice travel distance, and quick rebounds. Double clicking the right trigger feels incredible in CSGO, especially when you're doing the double zoom in the op or any sniper. Uh, I have total control. I can exit the scope and get back into it super fast. The main difference between the Juana switches and all my Omron switches is that these things feel sharper and more tactile, while the Omron switches have a bit of softness when you bottom out. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but the sharp and the tactility here uh, just feels refreshing and feels different. And now the cable angle, and this is something new. The cable normally in all other mice exits flat to the surface, whereas here it is angled just under eight degrees to give you a more bungee feel. So not only does this help to eliminate any cable drag that is immediately around the body, but it helps to also angle the cable uh, precisely towards your bungee. If you think about it, it's such a minor modification to the cable and the body, but it does help to eliminate that sharp angle from other mice whereas here it's already angled up and goes towards your bungee. And the cable, by the way, is paracord, super lightweight, reminds me of what Razer is using, so no complaints in that department. And the USB port is orange, just because. So basically, since the morning delivery, I spent the entire day gaming with a ducky feather, and the experience has been great. I set the DPI to 800, lift off distance adjustment manually, and the polling rate manually as well. My CSGO performance has not suffered, and I would say using the ducky feather for just a few hours today gave me an experience equivalent to a mouse that I've been using for several months now. And that's a major positive for Ducky, especially for their first gaming mouse. I really hope that the price point would be competitive and also they would have volumes because, I mean, the market right now is getting really saturated, but I feel like the Ducky Feather does bring something completely new to the table in terms of having that full hardware control at the bottom for all the controls. Uh, the clicky switches, feel different versus everything else that is available in the market and the slight angle on the cable. I mean, it's not anything significant, but it's a pretty cool feature. My two complaints here are the sides. I know we love to do this is to press into the mouse and here you can actually activate both side buttons if you press hard enough. And also the scroll wheel on my sample, this is a test sample after all, uh, has quite a bit of rattle. Ducky, of course, will try to control for all the quality issues for the mass production retail units, but something to keep in mind still. All right, guys, I'm Dimitri. Thanks for watching this quick video on the Ducky Feather. Let me know if you're excited. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be using this from now on just to see if it holds up in the long term until I receive my mass production sample. Check out this other relevant content, subscribe for more. I'll talk to you in the next video.